Now, here's meteorologist Pete Nanjoni with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. I was just asking Pete off the air if uh, it's going to be raining in my town anytime soon because I, don't, I have a lot of um, potted mums. Right. I don't want to have to run around watering them all day today. So now so. you're asking me on the air. Yeah. And uh, you may still have to water. I mean, All you're right. not going to get a whole lot of rain from this, but some spots could get a few downpours, so you may be okay, Elizabeth. As we take a look at Live Pinpoint Doppler 12, you can see the specks of red and yellow indicating some slightly heavier rain moving through. You can see this heavy batch right around Interstate 95 up towards West Greenwich. And another batch of heavy rain up in the northwestern part of the state, just to the uh, south of Pasco. All this stuff is moving off to the northeast, and pretty much everybody gets at least a little bit of rain over the next couple of hours. Here's a look from our live camera at Roger Williams Zoo. You can see no rain uh, falling just yet, but it's coming. Skies are gray here. And as we take a look at our uh, advisories and warnings, we do have a frost advisory for the northwestern part of Rhode Island and Bristol County, Massachusetts. This does not include the city of Providence. However, still a pretty chilly night expected for the capital city. Temperatures right now, not too bad. 60 at Greenwich Bay Manor in East Greenwich, 59 at Bank Newport, 57 at South Bay Manor in South Kingstown. And right now we're in the upper 50s in East Providence at East Bay Manor. Temperatures may be uh, lifting up another few degrees over the next couple hours, but the rain will tend to flatten the temperatures out. All right, speaking of rain, the green represents the strip of rain that's pushing through right now. Notice a few more showers off to our west. These will push through as we go into the later part of the afternoon, but by that point, the precipitation becomes more spotty. So for the rest of the day, 62 with the chance of some showers around 1 o'clock. Same story around 3, but between about 3 and 5, we start to push away the threat of showers. It will continue to be breezy, and those temperatures will start to cool off quickly, especially once that sun goes down. Other temperatures for today, 61 for Pawtucket, 62 in Rumford. Downtown will check in with a high temperature of around 63 degrees and 63 for the east side of Providence. Our West Bay communities into the low to mid-60s today with 62 in Warwick, Cranston 63 degrees, Riverside 63 and Barrington 62. Along the south shore, low 60s will be the general rule. Wakefield a little bit warmer at 63 degrees. Charlestown 61 and Ashaway 63. Northwestern Rhode Island a little cooler with temperatures in the low 60s. 60 for Pasco, 60 in Foster. Oaklawn gets up to 63 degrees. And it's right here in eastern Massachusetts where the clouds and the showers may tend to hang on a little bit longer into the later part of the afternoon. We'll go with 62 for Westport, 63 New Bedford, Seekonk 62, and Middletown a high of 62 degrees. Overnight, of course, we have that frost advisory for our suburbs, so the suburbs dipping into the low 30s. Providence will be a little warmer, mid to upper 30s with uh, clear skies. In fact, those clear skies helping to allow those temperatures to drop overnight. Seven-day future cast shows a chilly day, not chilly, but a cool day on the way for tomorrow. The breezes will make that 52 feel colder than it actually is. Saturday, it gets a little warmer with some increasing clouds, high of 59. And then Sunday, the chance of some showers, not an all-day downpour or anything like that, but the threat will be there, high of 63 degrees. And then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're not talking about an all-day downpour or anything like that, but the chance of some showers, especially on Tuesday. Tuesday. That's why I have intentionally put the extra raindrops on Tuesday. I'm not sure if you can tell that. 69, you're high on Tuesday. However, look at the temperatures, though, guys. Upper 60. So on Monday and Tuesday, if we can pick up a little bit of sunshine, it will be one of those days that actually feels warm at times, but a chilly night on the way for tonight. And, of course, if you want more updates, you can always watch Cox Digital Cable Channel 125. So